Around the world, there are cultural and historical monuments, some of which are famous as symbols having various meanings, representing an epoch, area or belief. These structures are explicitly created either to commemorate a person or important event, or which have become important to a social group as a part of their remembrance of historic times or cultural heritage, or simply as an example of historic architecture. What we are about to see, however, is not a creation that replicates any of these monuments, but a structural design that will serve a purpose of a lifetime, having its own significance. It all started in the year 2012, when an idea was put into paper as a plan was drawn using different sketches and calculations. The design that was put into shape, the appearance of the edifice viewed on computer animations, reassured the feasibility of its execution beyond any doubt. Thus, on 27th July 2013, the beginning of the construction got underway in excavating the foundation with a diameter of almost 7 meters. It took more than two months of tough and monotonous labor to reach rock formation with a depth of about 4 meters for the foundation. Meghalaya being in the seismic zone 5, it was deemed necessary to construct a stabilizing concrete wall as an added security measure in case of an earthquake. Having reached the planned depth of the foundation, 60 centimeter deep holes for the six columns were chiseled out of the earth rock formation. The steel rods were put into place and the pillars were erected for the columbrium or crypt. After casting of the six columns, and the concrete hardened, the columbrium ceiling was erected and the steel rods laid and interconnected for the concrete cast. Inside, workmen are in the process of laying out the niches where the cremation urns will be kept, between the six foundation columns. The niches, together with the foundation of the entire columbrium, act as a hexagonal earthquake-resistant foundation block. On the first level, there are 12 niches with an equal number of openings, whereas on the second level, there are only 6 openings for the 12 niches. And so, weeks turn into months and months into years, while construction work on this mausoleum progresses from one story to the next. The hexagonal form has different kinds of symbolic connotations, one of them being the 6 continents of the Earth, the six directions in space, namely up, down, east, west, north, south, and the Star of David, each end of the hexagonal connected resulting in two triangles representing the masculinity and femininity. The roof of the mausoleum is in the form of a pyramid, which at first was a deterring hurdle and seemed impossible to get the concrete mixture up for the cast. Even then, a solution was found by way of a cable car system connecting our house, al Fata, to the mast top pole of the mausoleum's pyramid. The functioning of the cable car was amazingly simple and successful. In less than eight hours, the casting of the pyramid was completed. The energy consumption of the 20 laborers who carried out this task was enormous, which can be seen during the lunch break. The construction of the mausoleum is progressing rapidly and in due course of time, as with the top pyramid, so is the lower and bigger pyramid casted, which is actually the first story of the structure and is much larger in dimension with a total area of approximately 61 square meters. By comparison, the area of the top hexagonal dome is quite small, only approximately 19 square meters or less than a third. The rooster is the symbol of the Kasi tribe represented by the Seng Kasi since the beginning of time. It was thus decided to install a statue of a rooster atop this mausoleum to represent righteousness and to guard us from all the evils of life. 
It took this artist from south of Chennai in the Indian Union state of Tamil Nadu six months to manufacture this rooster, carving out of granite with five different colors. Cut out into five pieces, the rooster has a height of 120 cm, length 70 cm and breadth of 40 cm with a total weight of almost 280 kg. The weight of the largest segment was almost 180 kg. The part with the least weight is the head which is less than 1 kg. Again, an encounter with obstacles on how to bring the rooster to the top. But yet again, a solution is always at hand. Taking cue from years of service with the shipping company Deutsche Dammschifffahrtsgesellschaft Hansa, an inspiration motivated the construction of a custom-made crane to lift the rooster up to the top of this monument. After the crane was manufactured, a couple of test lifts were done and some adjustments to it until finally it was all right to carry the load of 200 kilograms. There were times when even while working, a little bit of jokes can be entertaining. Actually, John, such an interested work in the Markat Sun and you get paid for that even. That you, <laughs> that you're allowed to be present, you should give me money. <laughs> <laughs> Thus, the transportation of the four pieces of the rooster to the top of the mausoleum was done by using the crane. The first part of the rooster, the hexagonal foundation, was lifted to the foundation at the summit. A two-component glue was applied and followed by the leg segment. The next part was the main body segment, also the heaviest, and strong winds made things even more difficult atop the structure. When the final piece, the head, was affixed to its place to become a complete rooster, the feat was accomplished and the rooster stands like a conqueror on top of the pyramid, taking command of the yonder, hopefully for generations to come. Despite many sleepless nights, what I have how I get this gentleman up, but nothing is impossible if you want to do it. They will make everything possible. Unfortunately, many people using their will to achieve bad things. We are using our will to achieve good things. Throughout the construction of this mausoleum, the safety of the workers had been one of the aspects stressed upon. All precautionary measures taken such as providing safety boots, hard hats and harnesses. Yet a fatal and most probably tragic accident had been averted when during the plastering work on this structure, John the foreman lost his balance and almost fell off over the sheer drop of the pyramid. Hey. It's not a joke here what you're doing. What shit is that man? The first thing wrong, you should have the harness on before you climb up there. The bamboo scaffolding fixed around the mausoleum saved the day. Back in 2016, an accident did occur when John almost lost his toes to the fast spinning blade of an electric wood saw. If it wasn't for the safety gum boots he was provided and the thick woolen socks he wore, a must insisted by the builder, he would have been spending the rest of his life without some toes or a few days at the hospital and also endure a few weeks with only sickness benefit pay. Although tiling work is something the team has never done before, none of the men hesitated to give it a go as the job demands and in the process learning from their mistakes, improving with each tile they align and within days they were laying the wall tiles like it was their second nature. Laying the floor tiles was another task which the team was assigned and this time it carried out with much ease and finesse. Because of the hexagonal shaped area, 
It required more time for the tile layers to first measure, prepare the surface, and then lay the tiles in the desired pattern. While another season begins to set in, work inside the columbrium is steadily making headway as the team prepares to seal the niches after the painting was done and the granite tablets or name plaques manufactured in Pondicherry are screwed in place and hermetically sealed. Heavy rainfall during the monsoon caused seepage of water and dampened the walls of the columbrium, which required corrective measure. Thus, digging a 60 cm wide trench to the death of the columbrium all around was made and its wall was washed, plastered and polished with concrete sealing solution, making it the perfect waterproofing ever. The trench is then covered with a mixture of mud and cement up to the ground level, topped up with a layer of stone rubble, netted steel bars and concrete to make it the foundation for the circular entrance consisting out of five steps all around the mausoleum. The terrazzo work on the 3.5 diameter circular platform along with the steps totaling 4.5 meter diameter is yet another challenging task which the team encountered. But after a few experiments with several terrazzo of different mixture, the satisfactory formula was applied and work on the floor began. The terrazzo on the steps was time consuming, monotonous and strenuous, yet that feat also was eventually accomplished. The main reason why this mausoleum was constructed was to keep the remains of late Paid Wolip Singh Langste and late Lin Tang Kyu. Wolip Singh Langste died on 21st January 1986 and he was laid to rest on the 23rd January 1986 at Umtro Ribhoi district. Lin Tang Kyu died on 6th February 1992 and was laid to rest on the 8th February 1992, adjacent to her late husband Wulip. Thus, the remains were brought back to their place of origin for their eternal rest here inside their crypt of this mausoleum. Moving on with masonry in the interior of the mausoleum, plastering of the ceilings of the pyramid-like roof and suit, also the columns and buttresses of this construction. This was followed by scraping and cleaning before applying weather coat primer. Before the final painting job, the balustrades made of granite were installed. Rare and scarce to the northeastern region of India, these items were made by Messrs Karunai Granite, Kudamkalam, Tamil Nadu and shipped by Gatti KWE. The first shipment was a crate full of 74 pieces balustrades including the hand railings. While at the factory, manufacturing process of more balustrades continued. A few months later, the goods were brought in two pickup trucks containing five wooden crates. Prior to the installation of the balustrades was the installation of the spiral staircase which was made of cast iron with a total number of 56 steps from bottommost to the level at the very top. The center pole is made of galvanized 3-inch pipe Step by step the treads are put in place followed by the risers and then the handrail. With only the center pole to hold the entire staircase in place though, it was impossible to prevent it from rocking and swaying with the weight of anyone walking the stairs. Therefore, provisions were made of angled steel brackets casted in the beams on every landing to counter any movement. Consistently throughout the construction of this mausoleum, every detail is examined and analyzed before being executed. So is with the installation of the balustrade which began at the viewing platform. One after another the balustrades are brought to the platform by means of a pulley and a chain gang to avoid any untoward incident. Initially, the 5 cm deep holes underneath the granite handrail are affixed with 10 mm steel rods using the two-component granite glue Akipox 5010, made by Akemi Chemi, Nuremberg, Germany. Each and every column and handrail are marked and numbered so as to avoid disarray. 
Military-like precision and speed is of utmost importance for the reason that once the two-component glue dries at the temperature conditions in Shillong, maximum 45 minutes, any error would be unmistakably impossible to ameliorate. To protect this architectural structure from weather, a good painting job is called for. Comfortably berthed on a specially made seat which is hooked to a rope, the painter could easily move from one position to another with ease. Shaping up the enclave of the mausoleum, a huge quantity of soil which is naturally humus requiring no additional compost is dispensed to the area meant for flower beds around this structure. After a span of six years, the construction of this monumental edifice was completed with a workforce of only Kasi laborers. Aptly, on 2nd February 2019, Nathaniel Tankio, the Basan of Right Saukur Nongse, officially conducted the inauguration in the August presence of Mr. A.L. Tankio or Ba'yo, Mr. Everest Tankio and Mr. Royal Tankio, along with family members and friends. And so, this aesthetic and historical triumph, the mausoleum, the craftsmanship of the structure in its entirety, will hold a special place in history, standing among the wonders of all time for generations to come.